Hey everyone, it's Desi Cheng, and right here I have the East Hills Outdoor Instant Canopy Sun Tent. Um, it is rated for uh, UPF 50 plus, and uh, this is the family size in sky blue color. So let's take a closer look at uh, all of the functions and see how easy it is to set this bad boy up. So first off, it does come just like this. Now, it comes nicely wrapped up a little bit uh, tighter, but I've already opened it up, so I didn't do the best job wrapping it back up and putting it back into the bag. Um, but yeah, so first off, it's just a nice little carry bag, nothing special. One thing to note is the bottom is actually surprisingly a little bit padded. A lot of uh, places won't have um, a padded bag, but this is just padded just slightly. Um, there is a drawstring at the very top, so I will open that up. I also do apologize for the noise. There is some construction going on behind the camera. So when you open this bad boy up, oh, those are the pegs. This is the instruction booklet, which is attached to the bag. that aside okay this is how it comes in there is one compression strap which is easily you can just buckle it I'll just toss this off to the side place it onto the ground unroll it and so the first thing that you will see sorry it's a bit windy first thing you want to do is you want to drop all of the pegs and the sides just off to the side and they are folded up so a good idea is just to kind of open them up just a little bit or not it is slightly easier when you have two people but you can really do this with one person so at the very very top of this there are two pull drawstrings. To make this uh, thing open, all you gotta do is you gotta grab both of these handles and essentially you just gotta lift the entire tent up like this with your hands and then you just gotta spread them apart and pull them apart. So watch this. So you gotta go push it up and you gotta spread it open like that and I'm just gonna, because I can't go as wide, you might, if, you, if you have wider hands it might be easier, but then I just kinda looped it around my hands again and then just gotta pull it all the way tight and boom. So as you can tell that was, yeah, very, very simple to open. This gray part is the base right here. And it does come with pegs. So these pegs will help you, you know, secure it and uh, put it in. So one thing that I do wish they also included was sometimes, depending on the type of ground you're in, these really thick pe pegs might be tough to kind of put in. So I wish they had small little thin metal pegs in addition. Uh, so in case the ground is really, really hard to compact. Uh, but if you're in sand, these should just be good enough, no problem. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna walk around the tent just to kind of show you some of the other things um, about it. So you might see that some of these latches are off. You just wanna hook them back on. Nothing uh, too crazy or anything like that. Um, onto the sides of the tent, they have these uh, pockets. So this is for you, meant for you to put um, sand in or something heavy just to weigh it down so it doesn't blow over. Uh, we will go onto the opposite side. So all the sides, they all have the pouch in there. And they all have this nice see-through screen. The other great thing about this tent is, let's say if you were inside and you just wanted to uh, you know, zip things up, it actually does come with a zipper and you can actually zip it up. Not all tents have this, which is a great feature. So it becomes a great half tent. So we'll... Now we'll get inside. So inside this tent right here, it also has a nice mesh pocket at the very, very top for you to stow small additional accessories and small, two other small ones on either side uh, for flashlight, food, whatever else that you want. So if you wanted to roll it up, very, very simple. You just roll the window all the way up like so. And then you take the buckle and there's a strap underneath it and just to hang it back like that and 
like that. Boom. So now you can either have the window open or you can have it closed, completely up to you. It also does have a little uh, additional accessory hook, so in case you wanted to uh, hang a glow stick or a lamp or, or anything else, you can. So how to take this down is completely um, up to you whether you want to take the pegs off or on. I mean, um, for me, I'm actually going to leave the pegs in first just because it's really windy and it's going to blow up, blow it apart. And I feel like after I've, uh, uh, you know, collapsed it and the pegs are still there, it will be better for me to fold it up. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate the bottom from the top part. To just like that. And now it's going to collapse right into the middle. Perfect. And I'm just going to topple it to one side, like that side. And then I'm going to start unhooking all of the pegs and I'm going to start rolling it together. So I'll do this one. I'll do I'll undo this one. And then you just use a compression strap to strap it up and put it back into the bag. Done. Anyway, so this is the East Hills Outdoor Instant Pop-Up Shader Sun Tent. Um, this is the family size, so that you can get one that is slightly smaller than this one. Um, but if you are traveling, if you have like, you know, wife, kids, dog, um, I think this is actually an amazing investment. I mean, it only costs about a uh, hundred-ish dollars um, and uh, it's a it's a pretty good product and you know if you're going to the beach or even uh, going to the park and you want some shade for your kids and your family and your food and all that kind of stuff like that um, this is a great piece of uh, investment so uh, if you like this review and you want to see me do more of these please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi 31 thanks for watching